I'm going to break down five beginner pole moves for you so that we can then add them all together in a routine at the end. Make sure to warm up first and when you're ready, join me for an outside step. Start with your inside hand thumb up nice and high on the pole and pull. I like to step inside, outside, inside to help give me momentum. Lean your hips away from the pole and take your outside leg away from the pole, which again will both help you gain momentum. Lean forwards into the spin and engage your core as you circle your outside leg around the pole. As your hips face the pole, bend through your standing leg and bring your outside foot to meet your inside foot. Make sure there's a little gap between your feet. To stand up, push through your outside leg and for now, feed your inside leg through the gap between your body and the pole. We will change this ending when we move on to the combo, so we will just end this one with a pretty little exit for now. For our pirouette, we are keeping the top hand in a thumb up grip and we will be turning in towards the pole. But there are so many pirouette variations in case you have tried a different one before. If in doubt, start on your tiptoes in all of our moves because A, it looks pretty and B, it will help you turn and swivel. This time you want to keep your inside hand loosely on the pole. Make sure to lightly pull but let the hand rotate as you move. Lift your outside leg, bringing this foot towards your inside knee. Take your outside hand, thumb down on the pole across your body at around about hip height. Slide this hand down as you turn in towards the pole. The magic thing about this move is that all I'm doing is focusing on pushing that bottom hand down and as long as I'm on tiptoes, my standing leg is straight and my top hand rotates, I should turn underneath my top arm. You can just stop with your back to the pole or complete a full pirouette, so let's just do that now. As you keep moving, rotate your top hand up the pole so that the back of the hand comes towards the pole, followed by the palm. Let go of the other hand whenever you feel like you need to. Now the pirouette. Wonderful, let's do a chair spin. This one can take a bit of practice, so while it is a beginner spin, don't worry if you need a few goes. I know I certainly did. Again, we want to make sure that inside hand is thumb up, nice and high and pulling, and we want to take the outside hand across the chest at about belly button high and push. Step forwards on your inside leg, and again, lean your hips and your outside leg away from the pole to help you get momentum in this spin. Think about falling forwards from the chest, and that should hopefully give you even more momentum, and then as quickly as you can, start to lift that inside leg off of the floor. Bring both knees together, hopefully with a nice big gap between your body and the pole. In the combo, we will change the ending, but for now to land your chair, we're going to step down on the inside foot, followed by the outside foot. If that's feeling good, let's go to our front hook. Again, the front hook is a beginner move, but don't worry if this one is a little bit tricky, it's just one of those moves that can take a few attempts. We want to start with the hands in the exact same position as with the chair spin. So the inside hand is thumb up nice and high and you are pulling, and the outside hand is thumb up at about belly button height and you are pushing, although this hand does end up around about armpit height by the end of the spin. As you step forward on the outside foot, you want to kick your inside leg forward and then hook the back of the knee bit on the pole. The action of hooking the knee and pulling your foot towards the bum should hopefully help you push your hips forward. The more you can thrust forward in this one, the easier it's going to be to give yourself that spin. So you want hips forward, squeezing your bum and pulling your feet up towards your bum. Lift your outside leg up, bending at the knee, so you want your knees apart and your big toes together. And then hopefully, as long as the hips have pushed forward far enough, you'll be able to spin nice and fast, really close towards the floor. To land this one, we will step down on the outside foot first, followed by the inside foot. We have our routine coming up in just a moment, but first we need to work on our chair pose. For this one, start on your tiptoes with your back facing the pole. Take one hand up nice and high, thumb up and you're going to pull, and this actually ends up in a twisted grip. So if you circle your arm away from the pole, take your fingertips past the pole and then hold on to the pole, you should be in a perfect position. Take your other hand nice and low on the pole with your fingers pointing down by your bum and you're going to push. Step forward on one leg, and it doesn't really matter which, but I'm stepping forward on the same leg as the bottom arm. Start to take your weight through this leg and bend through the knee. Keep the top arm pulling and the bottom arm lightly pushing, really lightly pushing, and you're going to slide both hands down as you bend through the knee, but you can keep the upper back touching the pole to make it a little bit easier. When you can, cross your other leg over the top of the standing leg. So for me, this is the same leg as my top arm. Slide all the way down until you're in a position that you like the look of. So for me, I prefer having my hips in line with my knees. I think that's a really pretty pose. And then hold here. To come out, super simple, you're just going to uncross your top leg, plant both feet on the floor, and then stand up to finish. 
it's routine time. So let's add everything together, starting with the outside step. We're going to walk into this move. So let's start on the tiptoes, side on to pole with the inside hand, thumb up and pulling, and we're going to step inside, outside, inside. Circle the outside leg all the way around the pole to come through that first outside step. As soon as you stand up, finish with your hips facing the pole, and you're going to take your free hand, the same hand as your standing leg across your body. So this is the start of the pirouette that we did before. The difference here is that we are starting facing the pole, whereas previously we were side onto the pole. So this outside hand comes thumb down across the body, really low at about hip height. Push with this hand to turn underneath your top arm as you straighten your standing leg. Turn underneath the top arm as you rotate that top arm up the pole. So remember the back of the hand's coming on the pole followed by the palm. Let go of that bottom hand when you feel like you need to and you have completed your pirouette. It's now time for our beautiful chair spin and we're just taking one step into it. The same leg as the top arm should already be lifted at this point so we're going to plant it down on the floor. Make sure to stay side onto the pole as you take your outside hand, thumb up on the pole at about belly button height and you're going to push. As you push, think about taking your hips away from the pole and your outside leg away from the pole. So really get a nice big gap between your body and the pole, which will make it easier to spin. Start to lean forwards in your spin as you keep the outside leg circling forwards, bending at the knee. When you feel like you can, lift your inside leg off of the floor and then briefly, briefly, briefly hold your chair spin. So I'm doing about a semicircle, no more, no less. We are going to transition into the front hook in the air, which you might actually prefer doing than doing the front hook just from standing. Your inside leg comes forward, so slightly straighten the leg but not fully. Put the back of the knee on the pole and then pull your foot towards your bum. As you do, think about pushing your hips forward and bringing your big toes together. That should hopefully be enough to push your hips forward to go into your front hook. Spin until you are relatively close to the floor and then take your outside leg, the leg not touching the pole, forwards of the pole. Plant this foot on the floor and ideally your foot is coming underneath the same side knee. As you do this you will need to take your outside hand off the pole because your hips are going to be in the way. This arm comes off and it's going to circle behind you and it's going to come low on the pole with your fingers pointing down and you can push. As this hand comes towards the pole, Push through your standing leg and unhook your leg from the pole and bring this leg up as your top leg for your chair pose and cross it over the bottom leg. Stick your bum out as much as you can and then hold and pose to finish. Just so I know you can get out of this move, you're going to unhook your top leg, plant this foot on the floor, turn sideways onto the pole and then stand up to finish. Remember to work through all of these moves, including the combo on both sides, so you get super strong on both sides. And I will see you for another video soon. Bye.